Hi guys, my name is Jay Gyaneshwar. I am pursuing my B.Tech in Gokaraju Rangaraju Institute of Engineering and Technology, Bachapalli, Hyderabad. Today, I am here to talk about our industrial oriented mini project, which is in third year, second semester. My industry oriented mini project is based on cable mechanism for controlling stage curtains using ropes and pulleys. I am doing this mini project with my batchmates Rajshravan S. Siddhartha. The main components in our project are ropes and pulleys. What are ropes? Ropes are long twisted wires which are used to track or lift heavy weights from one place to another place. They are strong and thick similar to cord strings etc. What are pulleys? A pulley is a wheel on axle or a shaft with a grooved rim around which a rope or cord passes and which acts to change the direction of force applied to cord and is used to raise heavy weights. Cable mechanism. In cable mechanism, the basic and important part is wire or wire rope. A wire or wire rope are used to exert force to control or operate a cable mechanism. In a rope and pulley system, that is a clock and a tackle, is characterized by the use of single continuous rope to transmit tension flows around one or more pulleys. To lift or move a load, the rope may be a light or a strong cable. What it states is that by pulling the rope downwards, the pulley amplifies the force two x times and lifts the objects from the ground or we can use the same mechanism to push heavy loads from one point to other point. Applications of cable mechanism are you can add or subtract pulleys from the system. More pulleys make it easier to pull or push heavy loads. To this, similarly, you have to pull more ropes to move the load by the same amount of force. Pulleys allow people to pull heavier objects from around heavier objects uh, around them. They could uh, use only uh, their muscles. This allowed ancient countries to build large sailing ships and explore the world. Because people would not be able to pull the sails into the right place without them. Pulleys can also pull large objects from one place to another. This helps people to build large objects, such as monuments, bills, buildings, etc. The modern and simple application can be seen in stage curtain openers and to open curtains at our home and at our workplace. Thank you guys and this video will be continued by, by my batchmate Sajwa. Thanks Gyaneshwar. Hello everyone, I am Sajwa. As Gyaneshwar explained about the introduction of good cable mechanism that is nothing but rope and pulley system, we are going to take a further look or a deeper look into our project. As the name suggests it, it is cable mechanism for controlling stage curtains. It's not just stage curtains. We use curtains in our everyday life. As soon as we wake up, we open the curtains in order to see whether it's, it's a sunny day or whether the sun is up or not. We also open it as soon as we go to our schools or colleges or even our workplace. So today, we have made a much more simpler operation in order to operate the stage curtains as that is our main goal because stage curtains are heavy to actually pull them. So as cable mechanism was clearly and keenly explained by my friend, let us look into our project now. A stage curtain opener is nothing but two pulleys which are used in relative motion in order to make a, a vertically curtain open and close. So we made a 3D representation of our project on the right hand side of the screen. 
So here we can see how the stage curtains can be opened and closed using this mechanism. We used a main cable mechanism which is in purple color using two blocks at, the, at either end to hold the wheels which are nothing but the pulley connected by a rope. Each of them are connected by these red connectors or red rods which are then connected to two other mechanisms which are the either two sides of the curtain. So the left side is connected with the red one and the right side is connected with the green. So they work in relative motion when the red connector on the left side is pulled downwards the curtains open whereas I mean the same way when the right side connector is pulled down the curtains close. This is a relative motion which is caused due to its, its connection with the purple main cable mechanism. It's a very simple operation and everyone and anyone can easily operate this. The main reason behind this is because every day in the morning as soon as we wake up for instance I'm taking the morning routine we wake up and to pull the curtains it becomes quite messy so we made it much more easier for all of us to use it much more efficiently. This is the first version that we actually presented. The upgradation of this version is we are connecting a DC motor that is a regular motor to this downside or the bottom of the wheel. A DC motor can be seen everywhere in our life. For instance, even a, da even a fan has a DC motor. The DC motor helps in the rotation of the wheel in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction to open and close the curtains, which is connected to the power source and using a switch, we can operate the opening and closing of the curtain. So, moving to what are the materials we used. Obviously, stage curtains or regular curtains are there everywhere in our everyday life. We use them in our everyday life. So, they might be heavy or they might be very lightweight. But we chose a much more cost effective and most feasible material, more feasible materials in order to make the use of the existing curtains rather than making an entire new system to hold the curtains while operating them. So we used wooden blocks. Wooden blocks are used to hold the wheels or the pulleys. They give a much more efficient grip and instead of using metal which could be much more heavier, we use wooden blocks which can go on for ages as well. Then we used rope. Any hard rope, preferably the regular rope other than the plastic rope we use that rope in order for threading of the track all the rope all the pulley systems use rope so that's how the system is also used nuts and bolts every mechanical engineer or every engineer for instance cannot do work without his or her nut of nuts and bolts so here even in our project we use nuts and bolts in order to hold the pulleys intact with the wooden blocks and also for clamping up the curtains to the rope. Then we used pulleys. The pulleys are made of mild steel material. Here the pulleys are the wheels. So these wheels along with the rope are made of the mild steel material instead of stainless steel or iron. Iron may get corroded even if we apply paint or use other non-corrosive material. Iron is definitely tend to get corroded and there's a lot of wear and tear. So we, have, we are using mild steel in for better usage. Moving on, we are using a DC motor as I explained earlier for the clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation of the wheel and a switch to control the opening and closing of the curtains. And lastly, we are using aluminium clamps. So these clamps are used to hold the curtains intact. The curtains in our everyday life we are seen are connected to the rod. So as the rod along with the curtains is already in usage to the curtain but not to the rod we are connecting these 
aluminum clubs uh, and is an easier explanation would be we use cloth uh, i mean we use uh, these clamps in our everyday life to dry clothes so these are plastic clamps which are clips that we use in our house in order to hold the clothes together to prevent it from flying the same way we are using aluminum clamps in order to hold the curtains now this is a small video representation of how our project works as we showed earlier this is the cable mechanism the main cable mechanism in purple color and the other two mechanisms which work in relative motion to each other it's a very simple representation as simple as it looks it's even more easier to work upon and make it as i explained the red bars on the red connectors are used to pull the curtains up and down i mean i used to pull the ropes up and down in order to open the curtains or close the curtains the dc motor is connected to the bottom part of the wheel not the upper part because the upper one needs the wooden support in order to rotate the entire rope so when the dc motor is connected to the bottom one it can move in clockwise and anti clockwise direction which is connected to the switch if we further want to upgrade the project we can make this into a multidisciplinary project by connecting the same motor to an uh, to a circuit which can be again further handled using a phone these days as we are moving towards automation that is just an idea for you guys to work upon and do let us know how we can actually do that as well coming towards the up coming towards the applications of the cable mechanism that we use as we already told we took the example and we took our project mainly for stage curtains they can also be used in cinema halls theaters artistry work and decorative designs so artistry work and decorative designs are for people who are mad about art in simple terms so those people who want to portray their art using curtains who want to open and close to make it look much more beautiful in their homes or their workplaces this mechanism which is a very minimalistic one and a very cost effective mechanism can be used it can also be used as shades and screens for privacy so this is how we made our cable mechanism for controlling the stage curtains and even automated it using a switch that for any further questions please do let us know that's it and thank you